I'm feeling right now. I'm not depressed, but I'm not happy. So as far as I know, that's not a good place to be because I'm not satisfying anyone's expectations of me feeling fully devoted to one side out of a million. I couldn't tell that we were each predetermined for the perfect life with these chains, pulling me towards opposite horizons and tearing me apart. I will never make you happy because to you, I never put you first. To you, things seem effortless. Not the kind of graceful, never even broke a sweat, natural talent effortless like you want from me. It's the kind that binds tired hands and leads them to disappointment. You barely even tried. I barely even knew how to respond when it felt like the entire world wanted something from me. So I'm sorry I put you last out of the infinite amount of last. And if you're wondering why I can't just give it my all, it's because you already took half of me. It's because this is what it takes to see the horizon. I used to think that my passion was like roaring waves and someday I'd get to see the glorious tides because hope would never give up, give up on me like the days that said I failed. It's been 16 years and I'm still waiting. These chains, these shackles, led me to believe that I was making the right decision because they painted me a picture of false hope and now all I want to do is give up. They said, said it was motivation, but I guess they were right because to them I will never stop failing. As much as they tightened their grip, it never mattered because they were only fighting the person on the other end with the insults they poured into me. I was dismembered like a jigsaw puzzle so I could be at all places at once until they realized the fight wasn't worth a single piece. Now I can be swept away with the tide and my emotions stay like cardboard pieces drifting out to the sea of aspirations because this is what it takes to see the horizon. <laughs>